Hello, I'm Arthur Harrison from the Silversmith Guild of Canterbury. Uh, I'm the chairman. I've been with the guild for uh, since 19, no, 2000, um, and I have done progress through the courses and also attended most of the workshops to gain my skills. Um, and now we're just passing it on and, and um, trying to keep the guild um, functioning. The Silversmith Guild has been in operation since 1983. We've been around for about 30 years and um, we've taught over a thousand students. We were in the art centre and we uh, were moved when the February earthquake was and then we went uh, to another studio and we were misplaced in there on the, in September and had to get out and move to the Southern Institute of Technology in Hornby um, where we worked in the refrigeration workshop there. We were at SIT for nearly um, 18 months um, and we knew that there was going to be a problem um, with the rebuild of Canterbury, the um, night classes were going to start and, and misplace us, so we had to start looking for a new home. We heard that the tannery was going to be offering a very similar position to the art centre, so we made inquiries and we were able to um, um, get a hold of this studio so we could set it up with a grant from Creative New Zealand. Um, we, we heard that it was going to be a very similar um, art centre with um, similar like um, artisans and so forth so we thought that this is going to be an ideal place for us to start our, uh, a new studio in, a, in an environment that, that's, that's artist friendly. Um, we, we, have, um, we can cope with up to 14 students per, per um, tutored night which um, we do on a Tuesday night and a Wednesday night and we also have a Thursday morning class um, and that's 10 weeks that they, they run for. If, they, if a student comes to do our stage one class we um, teach them basic metal skills, we um, teach them a design of a simple copper brooch, they have to learn how to use all the tools that we use safely, um, sawing, filing, um, using pendulum drills, using uh, the soldering irons and then cleaning and polishing and making a professional job. Our, our, our students then progress into level two where they learn how to set a, a stone in a basic bezel setting and then they can progress into doing almost whatever they are capable of doing using any materials they wish to use. Um, we do give them an attendance certificate at the end of it to say that they're competent in doing um, silversmithing and um, then we ask them if they will wish to join the Guild and then they can participate with the Guild in our monthly meetings where we do um, casting, um, chain making and various other advanced techniques with um, outside tutors as well. Thank you.